It has been 10 years and $100 million in the making, but the world's first deep-sea observatory is now finally complete. It is known as Neptune Canada, and it is built on the ocean floor off Vancouver Island. And for the next 25 years, Neptune will gather information that will drastically change what we know about the oceans that surround us and the species that live in that ocean. Our Louise Hartland has the story. These breathtaking images were taken from almost two and a half kilometers under the surface of the ocean, off the coast of Vancouver Island, all part of a project transforming the way we see the ocean and what we learn from it. This, these systems, for example, give us another whole model of how life can exist on our planet. Dr. Mary Best is part of a team of scientists from the University of Victoria who have just made scientific and technological history with the installation of Neptune Canada the world's largest and most advanced cable deep-sea observatory. The positioning of the observatory 300 kilometers off the coast was chosen by a group of international researchers. It's in the middle of an active subsea volcanic mountain range, one of the most hostile environments on the planet. And so it's by far the, the toughest terrain that we have installed in. Um, but it's very exciting because it, it gives us this constant um, view and presence into this very uh, harsh environment and very exotic environment. The observatory uses an 800 kilometer loop of cable to collect data from five communication nodes spanning a tectonic plate. It stretches from the coast just off Victoria out into the Pacific and loops back towards Tofino. That data is sent back in real time using the internet and provides a continuous long-term monitoring, something that's never been possible from a depth like this before and the information is available to everyone through the Neptune Canada website. Dr. Best says none of it would have been possible without Robos, a remotely operated vehicle developed in Sydney that laid the fiber optic cabling on the tricky terrain. The completion of the complex project has made waves all over the globe. People around the world are interested in the seismic data because again it's not only our particular coast and the seismic uh, activity that uh, it's relevant for but, but for all situations where you've got a subduction zone which is what we're, we're sitting on. So for example the Japanese are very interested in that data as well. Researchers also hope to learn about a number of other important issues, such as climate change, tsunamis, ocean pollution, and management. I, I think uh, it, there's no way that we even imagine what we're going to be learning in a decade, and that's exciting. At the University of Victoria, Louise Hartland, A News.